And it is Show Me Shindig Weekend. This is probably my favorite show of the year. It's just so much fun. Everybody has a good time. Cruise Route 66. Every, it's just a big hangout of just truck people that you actually want to be around. No egos. Everybody's just having fun and having a good time. But I promise you by the end of this, you'll want to put this show on your list. There he is. We made it, boys. All right, Travis, you're on camera duty. If you see something you want to film. Giving it some love at the loves. Let me make sure my sticker's clean. Now we're going for the little pre-meat. This, this place is nice. They got a fish tank and everything. Oh, they got some clown lotion. shop was super cool uh we're gonna go out and eat with everybody and uh uh i don't know That's kind of small. Yikes. Let's head to the campsite, I think. I don't know where we're going next anymore. All right, well, uh, we're gonna be roughing it out here in this miserable little uh, little tent. We're gonna be camping it out. It just something about camping with a show, sleeping what you brought, head to the show like something about that i just really enjoy really looking forward to tomorrow getting to hang with friends and uh some much needed time just you know no egos just catching up and enjoying each other's presence well i slept great Travis. <laughs> did you sleep Wonderful. Well, time to get ready and head on to the show. Could have had a career as an engineer. Well, I did have a scholarship for it. Oh. And then I went for art. <laughs> Great I didn't, choice. I didn't finish that either. I was uh, sitting here, you know, wiping down the hood, thinking it was really grimy because I was getting a lot of stuff out on the hood, and then I realized that's... I'm wiping the paint off. The man of the hour. I'm finally getting to walk away. Right? <laughs> yeah, you, you get one place too long, they'll pin you down. Yes. You just gotta be like, <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Kenneth Phillips. This is my brother Kyle Phillips' pickup. It's a 1947 Chevy. It is, uh, five window cab sitting on a late 80s early 90s square body s10 chassis and it's uh, got a 350 in it really solid truck it's been through a couple motors that made uh, all the mirrors and the taillights are made out of welded together chain link 
We got a whole visor on here. That's really cool. Dad hand painted. The signage on both sides. This bed is a two ton off of one of these 52 pickups that he cut down. Uh, we got a gasoline tank out of a combine, a joint deer combine. Custom fabricated <laughs> stacks. Dad, of course, fabricated all the wood panel, all the wood stuff he put on here. All of the accent color is Detroit diesel green. All the pinstripe you see on it was done by our good buddy Clint Hoppus out of Exeter where we're located at. The good old beater truck. <laughs> Easton, what do you have to say to him? Are you going to win? You gonna got it? Give him that smoke. Give him that smoke. <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course. We're going down, please, man. <laughs> Travis's loser run. This could be it for Travis. She doesn't know how to do it. I really don't know who's you. Huh? Yeah, she got it. Okay. Okay, we're going to do all these fun deals again. Hold this. We're going to throw them out here and run like hell again. Come on, let's go. Get after it. Woo, come on, yeah. Hey everybody, I'm uh, Travis with Rods and Ribeyes and Magnolia. Uh, these guys come down and support us and so we come up and support them. All right, show just wrapped. The awards went really well. Uh, we picked our favorite. Now it's on to the cruise. So now we're gonna break everything down and head out. I greatly apologize. I know you usually rely on me to help break down, but uh, I went and did a coverage on you know one of our choice picks. Oh, okay, usually so. just mentally break down anyway. <laughs> The windows are down, the RPMs are up, the leaves are changing, the gears are shifting. If there's any bigger joy in this world, then I don't deserve it. Just, it's just beautiful everywhere you look. You look in front of you, you see, you see Travis's truck. You look behind you, you see more C10s, you see Fords, you see every, you know, all the trucks. I just wanted to make sure I didn't understate how amazing this cruise is. Because if you ask me, it really doesn't get much better than this. My name is Jake Marley, I'm from Springfield, Missouri, and this is my 1955 Chevy 3100. It's got a 6 liter LS with an 88 102 millimeter turbo, a 4L80 transmission, Mustang 2 front suspension, got a parallel four link pan hard bar with a 9 inch in the rear, 373 gears. 20 inch mob steels, Dakota Digitals, Vintage Air, all the whistles and all the smiles.
My name is Matt Ford. Um, I run Mo C10 Addiction. It's a Missouri C10 group. Yes, my last name's Ford, and I run a C10 Chevy group. Started the group about three years ago. Decided we were gonna do a show because everyone wanted to do a little get together. Thought we'd have like 40 trucks, had 150. Did a show the next year, had 300. Did one this last year, September 9th, that we were right at 500 trucks. We did at Ozark Empire Fairgrounds. It's all OBS and older. Had a dyno there, it was a blast. Uh, we had a dyno competition. Uh, we did a 40 mile cruise and we had probably 300 almost cruise. I drove all the way to Fair Grove from the fairgrounds and back and I was a couple blocks from the fairgrounds and saw the last truck. Just all Missouri C10 group. This is my 65 GMC C15. I've had it for about three and a half, four years now. It's a 5.7 Vortec right now. Um, it will be a 5.3 LS after this winter, just stage two cam or L60. I drive the crap out of it, but that's about it about me and the group. Check out our show, wait, Facebook page, it's C10 Cruising Show presented by Mo C10 Addiction. Come check us out, man. Now, Travis, could you tell us a little, about, a little bit about where we are? Um, so it's, read something this like artist guy just wanted to build his own little city and so this is all stuff he's put together and it's just really cool um, some of it are some of it's actually functional buildings and people live in them but they've just got this character of being back in the 1900s or whatever yeah it's a real cool place so y'all should come check the cruise out next year just don't leave after the show come hang out with us the whole day that's what I was trying to tell them that they are really missing out on the best part of the show, in my opinion. The cruises that shows have been putting on, I mean, we started a cruise because of this cruise. And, uh, you know, it's not a bunch of lawn chairs sitting and all that. It's, everyone's hanging out, maybe having a, a brew and then, uh, anyway, it's just a good time seeing everybody listening to the engines, like everybody's stuff's running, people are acting up a little bit on the road all right we're getting close to a wrap up give us your highlight of the trip so far highlight of the trip uh i would on just really getting back and uh hanging out with my friends I only get to see a few times a year uh that's what i said too yeah i've made friends from this show anyway it's just a good time to come hang out it's not a competition just come have fun with your rust bucket your hundred thousand dollar rig whatever you got that's what i said too no egos it was just a great time so definitely recommend checking it out i don't even know where we're going from here i just know we're going to have a good time I'm tired. Nope. Just stretch my stomach. Oh. <laughs> well, that wraps up Show Me Shindig 2023. A great show with great trucks and even greater people. I wish I'd had more time to do actual coverage of the show and the trucks that were there, but then I'd have had less time for hanging out and enjoying time with everybody. Well, if you've made it this far into the video, since we're starting a new year, drop a comment on what your favorite show of 2023 was and what show you're most looking forward to in 2024. And it better be Rods and Ribeyes. No, no, but for real. 2023 was a great year back. And I'm really looking forward to what we do in 2024. If you'd like to see us doing even bigger and better things like I'd love for us to be doing, drop a like and a subscribe. It really, really helps us out. I've got really big plans for this channel and some really fun stuff I'd like to do. So if you'd like to see that as well, make sure to support us. All right, well, we'll see you in the next one.